and welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to show you how to make a pink sands ocean piece. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned and let's get to it. I based this particular piece on the pink sands beaches. I've seen some really pretty photos and so I just kind of went for it. And I absolutely love it. I think that it's very different and unique from all the other ocean pieces that I've been seeing around. And so I'm really happy with it. I was inspired by my good friend, Denise. She did a really pretty, yeah, really pretty pink sand. Um, didn't think that would be a tongue twister, but apparently it was. Um, so I based the piece off of the pink sands pictures and I'm really happy with it. Now, when you are doing sand inside of resin, you really wanna make sure that you are adding a lot of either the glitter or the sand or both. I actually added the majority pink glitter that I got from AC Moore. Now, unfortunately, AC Moore is closing, so I'm not 100% sure who else has this particular type of glitter, but if I find out, I'll leave it in the description below. And then I did a handful of real sand that was sent to me when I did that other ocean piece. And so I had kind of a combination of the two. The majority of it though was pink glitter. And as it's pouring out of the cup here, you can see that it is, is extremely, extremely thick. So you want to have a lot in there. You don't want it to be super runny. Um, this will help prevent it from just giving too meh of a line. You can do some really cool curved lines where it meets the ocean. And it also is going to help keep it up on top and not run over the edge. I did try and spread some of this on the side because I was hoping that it might like stay on the side and show that the image is wrapped around to the side of the quote unquote canvas. But unfortunately, it did not work that way. And it just ended up being a very ugly looking gloop on the side. And so I don't recommend that. I recommend um, just using your finger and constantly smoothing it out until this resin is no longer moving. That is a little time consuming, but it is worth it to have a really pretty image. Second, you could also just let it do its thing and then the next day sand, which that's what I ended up having to do. And it worked really well. It just took a little bit to sand because I did it by hand. And once I got everything sanded, um, now after I'm done with the ocean part, I'm just doing a solid coat on top. And so it all came together and worked out very well, but it was a little obnoxious to have sand on the side of this piece. After I let that sand fully cure, I really wanted to make sure it was fully cured, so I actually waited two days before I did the second part. Now, I just did that because originally I wanted to just keep the sand there and not do a top coat over top of everything, so that way you could still kind of feel a little bit of that texture. But the problem with that is there was one part that kind of dipped down and I couldn't really prevent that. and the sand on the side because of that needing to be sanded. The whole thing does need a top coat now. And so that really was pointless <laughs> in hindsight, but it is good to know for future reference whenever I do make more of these that this was a problem. Now I am, after mixing the resin, dividing it up into three cups. I, ha I had a pinata teal, which I haven't really used too much, but it is definitely one of my favorite colors. And then I also tried to utilize the ocean green from Bria Reese. Now the ocean green, I only put a couple drops and it turned out extremely green. Um, I did not want that. I wanted a greenish blue. And so I decided to mix these two colors together and it still was too green. I think it just overpowered everything. And so I ended up mixing some more resin, adding some more of the pinata teal and pouring that over top. Now, because this was a base layer, I wasn't too worried about the fact that it was very green and translucent on the bottom. 
I figured that part's going to be okay. I might do a green ocean sometime, but for this particular piece, I wanted it to be more on the blue side. And so that's why I mixed more and added more and just tried to like blend it all together since it was already poured on the piece. But I'd really love to know whether or not you like the green or the blue with these pink sands. Please leave that in the comment below so that way I know whether or not I should do another piece with just blue or another piece with just that greenish tint. Um, both of them are really pretty, but I would love to know your favorite. And once I did that, I added in, I actually utilized the Colorberry White Pigment Paste and that was for the white waves and it turned out really pretty the piece i thought was leveled apparently it wasn't and it actually fell over to the side and kind of looks like a little spout coming out from a whale which i thought was super cool so now here is approximately five hours later this was while the resin was still tacky but it was no longer moving. You can see that it really pulled the resin off, which it looked fantastic, but the second one uh, completely came off, which is totally fine. The I was planning on doing a second layer anyways. Okay, now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to re-level, but what I did was I just added another cup underneath that top because I didn't want so much to pull off that way. And since it was sitting right on top of some resin, it sort of just uh, brought it up just enough to level it off perfectly. And so the next part didn't run down that way, but it still did run out. And you'll see that here in a bit. So I mixed up, I only utilized the teal from the pinata this time to get that blue in there. And it worked out perfect because that green underneath added that perfect tint of green to my blue. And I loved it. So. I mixed it up and poured it all over top and then utilized the same white pigment paste to do my waves. Now, the second time, I'm not sure exactly what had happened with it to not give me the same effect, but there were no cells the second time and I was a little bummed with that, but I do still love, love this piece. I think the blue with the pink sands is just gorgeous and I am going to hang this in my bathroom because it's beautiful and I love it. But I did think about doing one more wave on top just to have a third layer so that way everything is layered and super cool. But my hubby says he really likes it the way it is and didn't want me to overdo it because I do that sometimes. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So after I poured this and did the white waves, see that a lot of it ran down. And so when I came back to it, it was super late and I forgot to turn my camera on, but all I did was mix up just enough to add one more white line exactly where I had done it the first time. And you can see that in the pictures that it turned out a lot more vibrant than before. And that's it. That's the finished piece. I'm super happy with it. I'm going to uh, take off that little string that's at the nose of it there, the mouth of it, and I'm going to take that off and add some hanging hardware on the back of it. I am going to do that top clear coat, like I said, just to fully seal the sand that I had to sand down, the sand that I had to sand on the sides because a lot of it ended up being exposed once I had to sand down, down those sides. So with that being said, I do wanna make sure to do one more top coat and that way everything is nice and sealed and I'm not gonna have any issues. But I'm gonna add some hanging hardware to this and put it in my bathroom and maybe design my bathroom around this because I mean, how cool would that be? <laughs> All right, so that's it. It's very simple and straightforward. The only thing with it is it takes a few different times to come back to this one piece. So it is a little bit more time consuming, but they are a lot of fun and I really love this. The board itself I got from Michael's and it was a long time ago. It was a cutting board and I got it for, um, originally there were, there were $20, but I got it on sale for five bucks. So um, all in all, the resin was about $16 and the board was $5. So not too bad. It ended up being about $21. All right, everyone, that's it for today. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I do have a few other animal pieces that I'm gonna do. If you would like to see more of these ocean pieces, let me know because I have a few more fish that I can do different ocean pours for. 
And if you're interested in this particular piece itself, just go ahead and message me. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.